straight up into the top of Nest. A bit of preparation though, Shandy was ready for it and he shuts that down. He got the plant though. You would though. love to catch him just before he plants though. The spike is down and now you've got these classic post plant setups. Look at the positioning of Mako all the way back with double snake bites. He's this guy's playing Minecraft. Off. This is chaos though already. You can see the NIP were kind of ready for this one, but of course I set up a kitchen, RB. Collects two, oh, just needs oh. to try and hold it down. Dinked Mid zest. The shot's eventually finding their mark. And with the snake bite on top of it, it's an easy pick off there for stacks. It's such a cool round. It's flashed off as well. And it is this slow siege currently from DRX. The wall goes up, but the spam, I believe a portion of it broken, but not the one Holy they counted. Holy shit. Not the one they needed. The Dude, they can't kill. Oh, no. Going man. down here. A nice kill. Comazine finding that one off the RB. Double shot looking done. for a little bit more. But Brent, yeah, this is now what Bala is was the plant, man. This is where the post plant starts to come into play. Double shock dart, double snake bite, KO fragment grenade as well. Does NIP push forward? Do they take those positions away? Oh, Mako got the kill. Mako still win. Oh, Mako tries to go for a quick little two tap swing around the corner. Zest now. Left to load into 1v3 oh. with Shanti taking that high ground All position. Right. Not a problem. Yep. Slow up denies any sort of plays, just trying to push deep into them, and again, it's the same Sage Wall, but this time the players... Alright, they have, have to play two the flashes, two mollies, Mako's got a flank coming back through mid one too. shock, not playing the classic critical. post plant oh, lineup. Oh my goodness, playing close up. It's gonna be the trade, Buzz getting the one, John eventually finding the other one. And here comes Mako around the back, yeah, he's gonna start to get an angle. Everything right now, the diffuse is being stuck, they're already gonna be able to get the half here, can DRX oh. try and disrupt it, and the answer is yes. That's a post plant line. Put the drone. DRX realized, okay, we've been hitting A for most of these rounds. Let's but change they, it up a little bit. But Bren, they've used the Viper Wall on the fake. Here's a fight in mid though. Oh, Zest managing to get the better end of Cohen Zine. The Sage Wall goes down, doesn't actually get broken. A piece of it does. How is RB staying alive? So low right now, Viper's pit off the back. And, and he's out. Just stretch over to the spike. John wants to play aggressive. He's just jumping straight in to his own demise. Uh, that's the John I know and love. He's Quarantine <laughs> him. <laughs> he goes for that one. Uh, you can definitely argue that you need a play to be made in that situation, though, because you're in Did a you sleep today. I, I got a little bit of sleep. Fighting into Viper's the new, the new dog and kept me up though. It's so cute, but like it's gonna be so difficult for NIP here. Buzz is just watching for this lurk off the side of yellow right now. That, that wasn't meant to happen. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it is just a save. You can see the players of NIP already exiting this. Yeah. And this is the trouble with DRX, is they are so good at the push and pull of this map and being able to set up and use all They're of that utility for post plants that you often find yourself. You've got no time. It's not troll, but it's retake, it's like a... Uh... Previous rounds, the wall wasn't really broken in time and the plant wasn't really pushed off. But now 30 seconds remaining. It's do or die for them. Quick flash comes through. Surely NIP, they can't be doing this to them. The crossfire set up from the top of it. The dart is impeccable as well. 22 oh, seconds Mako. left and still the spike. No signs of it coming down. It's up to Mako on the flank. The res comes through. He finds the they pit know last anyway one's with him and Zest. They combined it. And Shanti's on the flank, a similar kind of play to the one that Mako made, but now they know where he is, and this seems so much more... <laughs> so Look much how much util he has to shoot! ...than what Mako was able to achieve. This guy got scanned and silenced. Mid. Both times, that has delivered in Cast Your Mind very far back, the Liquid Zersia game had some insane leads like, like this, a 6-1 on Icebox that went all the way back to the 6 Pouncey pops the ultimate, and RB okay. has been vulnerable. I mean, that's good, the Hunter Sphere will push them away, but... Tragic scenes. ...to lurk still. The pick gonna be gained for it, but the Resurrect was available. Now Buzz is caught unaware. The Viper War, maybe just the comm wasn't being made that it was going down. He thought he was still safe, just hanging at danger there. Now Mako's cutting off because rotates. Because of how early DRX take all of this control in the rounds, towards B, towards A, they still have 40 seconds on the clock to be able to pivot, and there is no one on A to receive them. Mako's still in a position where he can have massive impact here. Left. And a bounce recon lets them know there's no one pipes, and there's no one main. Yeah, they get so much information that no one's going to be holding on the side here, so to get the plant off NIP. They're going to be able to contest this one. Slow Orb gets sent out, and it is going to be the fast retake. They want to try and disrupt this as, as quickly as they can. Oh, he's on mid! The one he knows the players are on the side, but he is being pincered right now from mid still. The spray down! A quick RB! RB! And four kills for him, RB! Just flexing on him, I guess. Dude, Sick play by him. Team in with the flash. You catch the one player, and that was the tag as well. Hunter's Fury. Zest, he's been good for it in the past, but a quick skip and a hop around the corner. He's going to be safe for the time being. And while all that was going on, 
Bit of a diff there from the Jeff players coming through. They break the wall, and DRX being punished for taking their sweet time. And this able time, to get off the safe plant. The spike does not go down. Yeah, Bren, that's the massive, crucial di difference. How do you even retrieve that thing? I mean, Mako's still got his wall, but everybody on NIP knows exactly where it is. It's going to take some heroics. 15 seconds remaining. NIP are playing this. So far back, they don't want to give up any sort of player advantage. And yeah, as soon as the plant noise comes through, the swing oh, timing the second round. them. They collapse onto DRX, knowing that they had no other trip. neutralized. That's yeah, fun. Can't use it. 30 seconds left. Not with Stax popping his ultimate. He's pressing everybody around him. And there is Mako catching the player through the lurk. The plant, he gets two. Oh, that's unbelievable, actually. That's unbelievable. RB just needs to try Oh, he's out. What? Away. Now we see it. It's all capped there. The spike, they realize that nobody's actually quite on it, but the important fact of being the DRX, they got the player advantage and they have the utility. They have the molly. They're still alive, lurking through this mid area. Gonna be any sort of heroic. Another. They eventually take care of him, but not before he's done the damage. It's gonna take more than that, though. John has to pop off three kills. The quick dismiss, but doesn't know where Stax is. Right around the corner. Holy. Stax wins it out for his team. Much closer than the preview. Methodically clear. Areas. You can see the knife Holy flash shit, the pop flash. John was see trying that? to reposition, but caught with his trousers around his ankles, I think. That <laughs> was just pre firing straight through the wall. This was a force up as well by NIP. They... It's ridiculous, really man. Funny to be doing it, but of course, desperation considering the round score. Spike still not down. Shandy could do some magic with this one. Just working his way up so carefully, but he is getting spotted. And the immediate pit. reaction is to pop the Viper's Pit in a 5v3. DRX have no intention of letting an IP get a round, a crumb, a sniff, nothing. Spike still going to be pushed off though, BMJ. Ends up using that Viper's Pit. Oh no! For all the damage or the utility again. He, th he thought he was safe from the Molly. You can't even see it, barely. This contact push down mid. Final round of the half, and they are doing something completely different. The flash comes <laughs> through, Buzz just pops out of it, says hello. Goodbye. And it's hey, going to be a very similar play to the original pistol, but with much more of a contacty feel to the beginning of it. Really difficult to get the read there that they were going for a mid to be. And look at the position! He's out! RB in, the, in Bezzy, their Bezzy, Bezzy needs this pick! He's not aiming properly. Michael's just had everything. And again, RB's going on a Yeah, I'm telling you, these guys are ridiculous. Oh in my goodness. Uh, th mate, look at this. It's disgusting. There is just no hope in that round disgusting. for NIP. There, now Zesty does have a bit of a lineup for this. Rebound off the top. Shock darts to see if he can catch any unsuspecting players. But the way this wall is set up as well, it's so annoying to try and break here. Lovely oh. shock dart. Break that one. That was, that was actually anti strap from uh, NIP right there. This wall is so annoying to get through. And there's a couple of NIP players on the other side of it. You see just a little gap in the bottom there for them. Buzz though coming through. Dashes right around the corner. No way! No way does he do that, man. And just two players left standing. B and J and Kawazin can't even do it. The quick little right click. Buzz goes down. Oh but my god. The defuse just being stuck. They were counter strated yet they somehow... Out of there. Up draft and a dash. To escape. Stacks though more than ready. Throws the flash off to the side. Banks it. Spike planted. Can be rewarded with that pick off onto John. Still Besney. What are those shots? Zesto has worked himself into a deep angle, oh. and yet he still continues. Holy he shit, he had some off. nasty shots right there. Only the Sheriff in hand, but Mako now, 1v3. Is he still going to be trying to play this oh, one? But close play, he knows that one of the players on 410 could be dropping off, and Pesny was at the back of the side. So many variables to consider now in this one. Just a quick clear around the corner, crossfire, and IP not let skate there, and maybe Buzz thinks about repositioning. It's interesting as well. I think John heard footsteps and he's the one who's just lurking, trying to catch it in mid, but... Oh. <sighs> Buzz falling. How often have we seen this Mako uh, John battle? The nade? What? Oh, the nade! It's, it's, what are you doing, Besney? There's no just way he tried tanking the KO nade. Now, Dude, that thing kills you with... John, he's gotta come up huge. That thing does so Even much damage. Available to him, pops it off to the side. The team, though, squeezing them. DRX feeling pressure from every single angle, but Zest... Cool karma collected, only getting the one B and J flashed up. Just trying to survive. Oh with DRX. my god! They come up with the round anyway. Bro, he can RB, literally the get off. The, the RB would have planted of, uh, with with that being Viper mollied back. and yeah. KO mollied, and he would still survive with a with 150 Johnny's HP gonna somehow. Be the operator here, looking towards B. Oh, sorry, looking towards A here, as the rest of his team goes for a fairly fairly quick push. 
And that looks like Mako suspected it. They're so aware. And that Viper Orb well. has not landed where he was intending. Oh, that drug needs to die. Eventually, it does. Mako drops the Viper's pit. It's going to land just at the, the base of the site, so no elevation in play. Still, John. Okay. He's not one of those players with utility that can deny the plant, but he is uh -oh. just going to take the, wall. the face first off. Sure. Quick little shot to the head, now the plant. Needs to go down! John! Oh, he lets go of it! Doesn't have to do it! Wants Where to did the pop actually come he's from? He's given TRX a perfect in! And this could be the round Shandy's left alive! The solo player, Holy. but Shandy... Classic lineup. People in Korea were going nuts for this. It is awesome. Seen it many times across the regions. Double what? Allows you to get into the site with the dart at the same time. Look at what all of that pressure well. on B&J. Oh, it misses the stun, B&J! Gets away Scott Free! Oh. What a shot! Straight across the How site. How many walls are there? Holy... There's no more. Two players left alive now. Stacks in the corner. Just about walking to the line of sight angle for him, but Mako so low. 46 HP and not enough. Shandy with the perfect weapon for the job. And what a way for BNG. Yeah, NIP. All the information that Shandy gets as well, just working his way around A. Now they know, and they're setting up into the back of the site. Gotta break that dart, it actually. Oh, he dinked him. It's gonna be tacking up two of the players. It sets the arrow magically. And all the kills going out. Holy way. shit, they got no one was like ripped, the the even though they were four stacked. It, in, it sets them up. Just Shandy left alive here on their bonus. Looking to do some damage, of course. He's got a couple of. Wait, how do you how do you say his name? Can take some long range fights here if he wants. Gambit M three C. Okay. Wait, how do you? I thought it was Zen. Even if Zest had missed the shot, but how has just been people so been playing the map quite a bit, but a very different setup. There we go, flash into mid as well. And fantastic value from Zest. Oh, some. Damage to them, not necessarily in terms of the raw damage, oh. but the swing comes through. Pesny tries to play off his own flashpoint, but it's not going to be happening. And IP look to just try and shut this one down with the rifles in hand. No more energy as well to put up that Viper or DRX in a bit of trouble. The dog going to be used now. 20 seconds. No, there's no E, so the just, it's just no, Chan. They have to push this forwards. They have to gain positioning to try and get this spike down, but the coverage is there. Wow. Dog tries to swing to disrupt it. Luckily, Buzz is going to be covering them. Stax has got his Seekers online, round four, super early on. Gone, NIP, they're still at a player disadvantage, and now they don't have that. Spike offline two, Mako, all of these players with the RX holding passive positions are helping, holding angles for the people who are pushed up further onto the site. And now it's all down to the youngest player on NIP, the youngest player in the tournament, Kawan Zin, has so much to handle here in a 1v3. He knows a juggle peak, he knows there's a player at the back of the pyramid. It's so difficult to try and play this now. Taps it, not too many bullets in the clip, and it won't even matter, it doesn't really get the fire. Of this angle coming through, and he's rotated back around to A. And now, they're going to start to take it straight through the tunnel, avoiding the Viper's pit entirely, or not quite. It's actually just a split approach. Mako collects the kill into that one, but NIP going to look to try and hold down the back of the side. RB is out in the open, and the crossfires are oh, looking majestic. 30 seconds left. Cohen Zine with a couple of incredibly important kills there. Shot down out as well. Doesn't quite catch anything. Shandy goes for another peek, but this time straight into the bullets from Stax. That Phantom at the range needs a couple of hits, and both of them connected. Cohen Zine is so low right now, playing on top of the wall, a different elevation. Besney just looking for the right timing for it. Swings round. Does get the pick off. Oh, but oh my gosh. For DRX to try and at least win it. Beautiful, beautiful timing with the swing from Cohen Zine. And that's what we want to see. The drone comes through, Mako and Zest push, and then they go straight through halls, along with the Hunter's Fury. Flash out to the side as well, they need to try and punish these players, and Kowazin's able to hold it down for just but a moment, but stacks far too potent, especially when he's coming through. This guy's aim is unleashed, now that he's had those eyes yelling responsibilities taken off of his shoulder. It's great trading there, we'll see whether John can make anything happen. Buzz, just too simple for DRX at the yeah. end of the day. Back in early. Okay. There are points to try oh, and John. back and the nade and the okay, snake bite on top of it. Way too much utility. But still it's gonna be the one for one. Both jet players going down. Besney with a crucial role. He has to lock down the back of this pyramid. He's got the support from the rest of his team. The swing timing, immaculate and buzz. Not enough firepower. Especially with the Viper Wall being committed. And Buzz, he's just walking his way on in. I can't believe this. There's just nobody home. Look, no one's here. All playing up on the staircase, and John's gone. RB now. I mean, he's going to be capitalizing, of course. He decided, I want to be playing up close there onto yellow, but no, backing off in the end. And now Besney's going to be taking up position once more on the staircase. The rest of NIP have to start flooding into here. 
There aren't that many people actually committed to the site no right command. now. Oh my. He's alone, he's out open. On an Dude, it was crazy. RB is actually doing the same role that he did on Icebox. Like, he goes out, dashes, entries, and then plants for his team. While it's going on, there is pressure coming from the backside there to shop. Push from Shandy. Oh, 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 never mind. That was just, just a timer. Yeah, uh, just going to be fading out and nah, not enough to save. Mako, fully aware of the lurk and just catches. There's 25, 20, some hits, 15. Depends on the work. Because, dude, that champion skin actually generated so much. Oh, the right click. The champion skin generated so much. And I think it was like, like X10 didn't pay their players or some shit. And already taking 90% of that, it's like, oh. It's really disheartening, because that's a lot of money. That's like life-changing money for a lot of players. Holy shit. They got e code. One shot he needed. That's what a dominant display Icebox was for DRX. I thought NIP might have a bit of a mental collapse. It has not been there. This is gorgeous. Combined aggression from NIP. Pushing through the double door. Shandy watches it down with the op. And they threaten into elbow there with a little pop, pop flash play. Yeah, no, they, they, got, they got super fucked. Was still posted up. He knows the timing. The timing? This him from behind. Okay. I don't think Besney saw him, but Cohen Zine. So two aware. different contractors send pro and content. Right now. Uh, I'm just a pro player. The same push. Push. That's literally all I am. Push as well, and RB knows that there was a player watching the back of it with the knives in hand. He spotted him. Oh, 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 oh that was scary. Finds it in the end. Three knives, all he needs gets the refresh. Dude, sometimes those are the hardest ones to hit. This is pure improvisation from DRX. The plan position really strange. In goes a fragment grenade as well that clears out some oh. portion of it. And it bounced off the pyramid. And BNJ, he's still inside his own Viper's pit, but uh, that's, that's so not going to be useful right now. You need to gather all three of your players together and start taking this space, trading the players out. Mako has got the perfect elevation on the half. Oh ball. my gosh, Mako. for him. Listen. The contact play from NIP. Oh, oh, Buzz trying to meet them. And not able to escape. He had his TP set up in the corner to rendezvous, but just could not tap it in time. Yeah, just uh, that's supreme confidence. He really thought he was going to win those duels. Seems crazy to me, but listen, the guy's incredibly good. Didn't work out that time around, though. 4v5. And then reaching around the corner, Shandy! That's a right click as well. Right -click. Uh, 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 he ran out of all uh, uh, of his headhunter bullets, just huh? goes straight for the right click instead. DRX down to three players, NIP with a crossfire, perfectly anticipating a bit of this aggression from main, trying to swing round, another right click, they're blessed, actually blessed right now, still RB, quick little jiggle peek, takes one of their heads off, tries to go for the spam at the end, to That's take another out right and, yeah, not gonna be happening, the <laughs> knife gets used close, it's gonna clear any player that might be at bricks, but look at the utility that's being dumped in, it's a little bit too late here, players aren't quite running in still, the crossfire held, Zest takes John's head off as he was trying to run past, Spike, not getting planted, Pop Flash is down, but the wall, it was dropped, anticipating maybe an aggressive retake at the back of it, or possibly just not having the fuel, obviously, but... <gasps> no way. I mean, NIP are making some questionable decisions in this attack round. It's a bit all over the place, isn't it? 3v5 is a result of that. Still. Maybe, maybe here, the lack of practice, where is it Ted Cohen's team? Here. Just making it back what to is the happening? cave, I thought. There was a chance the Viper Wall got dropped there, and it was... Oh, attacks him. Tragic. The heart doesn't get broken. They know where Shandy's positioning is. Exactly what this tour de force. And they are contacting him. Yeah. And it's just played right into their hands. Buzz Ooh. had the angle on it. And Arby's pressed up forwards. Mako. So sloppy. And I just seen like a pillow. Complete flawless. For NIP, yeah. Plenty's just trying to jiggle for the information. Oh, he dinked he him. He safe this he does time. play it safe. Retreats with his life and 140 damage onto Besley. Bit of a phantom moment. Mako just spamming through. Just trying to catch it onto a player. And that stray bullet. Finds the one target who was low. Still, John is in. He's managed to create a bit of space for the team, and he's just trailing left. behind him. And this mm -hmm. is an attempt. Oh, Shandy just lurking. Now they know his positioning, though. Zest needs to try and win this one out. <gasps> oh. around the bullet tag. Did he just not have any bullets in, in the uh, weapon? I don't know what happened there with Zest, but that's a bit of a tragedy. Stack okay. still picks it up, and this isn't over. 3v3, plant goes down, NIP in a post-plant position, but without any major ultimate to work with or any large post-plant utility. They know that Stax is on a flank somewhere. And Don't NIP, they're getting one. surrounded. But each player from DRX doesn't have a teammate to really work off. So unless their timing is perfect, NIP might be able to pick them off one by one. Ah, great dart. 
to the back. That snake bite though pushes John around the corner. It's a bit uncomfortable for him in the flash. His One, two. Oh, oh stack. Into the ladder. John 48 health. 1v2. Has to come Gets up a kill, he right gets Has to clutch this up for his team. Oh. Find him a Mako. A little bit too smart with the positioning. And time was running so low. What a god play by Stax again. And RB's Ooh. pushing elbow with it off. They have to oh. convert this round. And that is not a great start for NIP. Viper's bit and people pushed up holes to deal with here. As NIP goes towards B and C. Boy, it got caught. Don't just use Flash to just try and disrupt the timing of it. Ooh. RB, RB. Flash on the corner, Stax tries to take position and take point for it, but now RB punished, potentially, at the back of the side, pops the knives, the right click, not going to be finding it. Shorty pulls out. He's running through it! Shorty pushes <laughs> their own knee to catch the kill. Galloping in there. RB falling, the spike now planted for them. Be using that no command and the Hunter's Fury comboed up to see if they can convert this momentum and steal away the round. But there aren't that many players where he's actually fighting. This 1v1 could be crucial between Buzz and John. Again, John finds the timing. That's fantastic. And Hand gets the third. Zesto still around the corner. Spray through, and it is technically the 1v1. Besney down on the ground. He's going to be fading. No more information to be gained. Taps it for just a second. Oh and my gosh, yes. A play by Zest. Holy shit. Back against the wall. Comes up big. Clutch. Incredible stuff on the. Can't dash away. The knife's up in the air. John's just whiffing almost every single one. Maka's able to just pick him straight out of the sky. How's RB in like a lot of strike on RB, But he lives five health too far away. Nope. And finds another. Shandy. Door closed. See ya. No, thank you. Not today. The yeah. triple face is just trying to blindly run straight across. The Viper's pit popped. Oh. Desperation. The perfect angles being taken in DRX. Aggressive angles. And one of them is always good for it. Ooh. Okay. What a kill by PNJ. That rope accuracy really is something. Yeah. Finds the pick off. And that's that's a critical one. Buzz is going to try and make a play happen here. Looking for a response. There is a player over there. Spots a knee. Oh, he still want to commit onto this corner. There's a player that might just be trying to swing him from the approaching angle. Right round the side. Oh my. Yes. A bit of control with the Vandal. One straight bullet. Just connects onto the cranium and it's more than enough. Now the tour de force in hand. They want to go. Bit of gusto being shown. They know that this is their best opportunity oh, to, to try and convert. What's going on there? Players potentially looking at the mini map. Stacks. How is he getting away with this? Flashes right through, but he actually catches it onto himself. This has become a little oh, bit no. of madness. Shanti just managing to dodge oh, the shock my. darts. Gets out of dodge there. And it's a 2v4. Can DRX put the nail in the coffin right now? That's going to be very difficult. Marco's had an amazing game, but Shanti is showing that he's good with it. I spoke about how good this guy is with the operator on attack. And when he's had the two right, 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 that want, is bro. around 21 and 15. Finding so much success for his team on this pick. <laughs> Choke it. Are you going He's now? not gonna go for it this time. Around. I was gonna take it like a like a 15 minute nap. Well, before Stax, I should say, pushed up in his forward position. He's been there before. The heads up awareness. I was gonna take a nap after this game. That. I love that. I don't think they've run into it before. Just being oh, aware. Who is it? Unfortunately, oh. this is dropped back down into a 4v4. And RB gets smoked out a little bit. Where's that one oh, going? Right around the corner. But the player is still trying to swarm into the site. RB to holding it with the operator. Oh, two quick kills for him. And this could be the nail in the coffin for the series. DRX moments away from claiming their spot in the playoffs with all the other top teams. Both the players, man. RB the timing of it. Trying to work away around. And it's just.